Amgen, a biotechnology giant based in California, announced last year that it would acquire Horizon Therapeutics, a biopharmaceutical company that focuses on treatments for rare, autoimmune diseases, in a deal valued at approximately $26.4 billion. This is the largest deal in Amgen's history, surpassing its previous acquisitions of Chemocentrics and Immunex. The main attraction for Amgen is Horizon's portfolio of rare disease treatments, especially Tepetsa and Christexa. Tepetsa is the first and only approved treatment for thyroid eye disease, a condition that causes eye bulging and double vision. Tepetsa generated more than $1 billion in sales in its first full year on the market. Christexa is a treatment for uncontrolled gout, a form of arthritis that causes severe pain and inflammation. Christexa also had strong sales growth last year, reaching $565.5 million. By acquiring Horizon, Amgen hopes to diversify its revenue sources and strengthen its position in the rare disease market. Amgen also expects to benefit from Horizon's expertise in commercializing and developing orphan drugs, which are drugs for rare conditions that receive special incentives and protections from the FDA. Both Tepetsa and Christexa have orphan drug status. However, the deal faces an unexpected hurdle from the Federal Trade Commission FTC, which is preparing to file a lawsuit to block the acquisition on antitrust grounds. The FTC argues that the deal would hamper innovation and slow the pace of drug development, according to a source familiar with the matter. The FTC could sue as soon as Tuesday. The FTC's opposition comes as a surprise to many analysts and investors, who had expected the deal to clear regulatory hurdles without much difficulty. Some experts have questioned the FTC's rationale for challenging the deal, given that Amgen and Horizon do not compete directly in any of their product areas. Others have speculated that the FTC may be influenced by political pressure from lawmakers who are concerned about rising drug prices and corporate consolidation. Amgen said on Monday that it was not aware of any decision made by the FTC and that it would provide any appropriate updates when it had more information. Amgen has previously defended the deal as beneficial for patients and innovation. The company has also said that it hopes to complete the acquisition in the first half of this year. The deal between Amgen and Horizon Therapeutics is facing a challenge from the FTC, which argues that it would hamper innovation and slow the pace of drug development. The FTC is expected to file a lawsuit as early as Tuesday to block the $27.8 billion deal, which would be the largest in Amgen's history. The FTC's decision marks a rare move to stop a pharmaceutical deal outright, and could signal a change in how the agency views consolidation in the drug industry. The FTC's main concern is that the deal would reduce competition and incentives for innovation in the market for rare disease drugs. Both Amgen and Horizon have drugs that treat rare conditions, such as thyroid eye disease and gout, and have orphan drug designation, a status that grants them market exclusivity and other benefits. The FTC believes that by acquiring Horizon, Amgen would eliminate a potential rival and gain more market power over these lucrative drugs. The deal would also give Amgen access to two fast-growing drugs, Tepetsa and Christexa, which have been driving Horizon's revenue growth. Amgen hopes that these drugs can offset the decline in sales of its blockbuster arthritis drug Enbrel, which faces competition from biosimilars. However, the FTC argues that these drugs are not substitutes for Enbrel, and that the deal would not benefit consumers or patients. Amgen and Horizon have defended their deal, saying that it would create synergies and enhance their ability to develop new treatments for patients with unmet medical needs. They have also argued that their drugs do not compete with each other, and that there are other players in the rare disease space that would ensure competition and innovation. Amgen said it was not aware of any decision made by the FTC, and that it would provide updates when it has more information. The deal reflects Horizon's strategy of acquiring drugs developed by other companies and raising their prices through aggressive marketing and patient relations. Horizon Therapeutics, a biopharmaceutical company that focuses on treatments for rare, autoimmune diseases, has never licensed a product it invented in its 15 years of existence. 
Instead, it has bought drugs from other developers and boosted their sales by targeting specialist clinicians and patients with personalized services and support. One of its most successful acquisitions was Cristexa, a drug for severe gout that it bought from Crialta for $510 million in 2015. The drug had been developed by Savient Pharmaceuticals and Duke University, but had failed to generate much revenue due to safety concerns and limited demand. Horizon turned the drug around by increasing its price, expanding its label, and offering free infusions and financial assistance to patients. The drug brought in $716 million in 2022 and was expected to earn $1 billion annually in coming years. Horizon CEO, Tim Walbert, who has a rare inflammatory disease himself, has used his personal story to connect with patients and doctors and to justify the high prices of his drugs. He has also invested in research and development of new drugs for rare diseases, but none of them have been approved yet. Amgen, a pharmaceutical giant, announced in December 2022 that it intends to buy Horizon for $27.8 billion, in the biggest pharmaceutical industry deal announced in 2022. However, the deal faces an unexpected challenge from the Federal Trade Commission FTC, which argues that the tie-up would hamper innovation and slow the pace of drug development. The FTC is preparing to seek an injunction in federal court that would prevent the deal from closing.